Okay, Russell, so just before we go and see Mr. Jacobs, can you just give me a quick summary before we go in and see him? Um, well, the patient's chart reports that the patient had their surgery yesterday and the op notes say that he was able to begin mobilising today with weight bearing as tolerated. Uh, the anaesthetic report says that the patient had a, a, fem a femoral and sciatic nerve block during surgery, so they may have had some issues with sensation or maybe even muscle, muscle strength. Uh, I will need to check that. Uh, the, now, the patient had attended the pre-op clinic, and I can see that he had some um, range of movement changes prior to surgery. Uh, his left knee uh, range of motion was between 20 and 90 degrees, and he also seemed to have a, a varus deformity of 15 degrees. Now, this might mean that he will have some issues with his hamstring length. Uh, I can see that he was only managing short distances of around 200 metres before the knee pain stopped him, and he works on a farm, so he probably needs to be able to be a little bit more mobile. Um, now, one thing I did see, the patient's past medical history reports a TIA two years ago. Um, I'm not 100% sure of what a TIA is. Uh, could you please tell me? Yeah, so a TIA is a, what's called a transient ischemic attack. Um, in layman's terms, they sometimes call it a, a mini stroke, or sometimes patients will call it a mini stroke. So I don't know if you've ever heard of that term before. Uh, but basically, it's uh, uh, at the end of it, the patient will have all of their symptoms re will resolve. So there shouldn't be any residual effect from it. Um, but definitely we can see if there is while we're there. And we can ask the patient if they found any residual effects since they had that TIA. Okay, good. Is there anything else that you need to do before we go and see Mr. Jacobs? Um, well, I do need to check his x-rays before yeah. we go and see him. Um, so shall we go check those out now? Yeah, perfect. Cool. Well, from looking at the x-ray here, we can see that this is Mr. Jacobs' x-ray, um, confirmed from their name and date of birth. And this seems to be the one from prior to his surgery. Uh, now, it looks like we have an AP view here. Uh, now, there are quite a few changes on here. You can see the joint space narrowing, the sclerosis, and the osteophyte po uh, formation. Uh, the deformity is also very apparent. His other knee looks quite good. Um, some changes, but nothing like that on the other side. Yeah, that's good. That's an excellent summary. So, are you pretty happy to go in and see the patient now? I'd just like to check his OBS chart before we get started. Um, well, his OBS all look quite good. I can't see anything that is out of the ordinary. Uh, his blood pressure is a little on the low side, 105 over 62. So we may need to keep an eye on him when he moves and check he doesn't have any symptoms such as dizziness. But, you know, a small drop in uh, blood pressure can be normal post-op due to blood loss or, you know, possibly the medications that he's on. Um, now, he has been getting regular pain relief. Uh, I spoke to the nurses earlier and they said that they administered it about half an hour ago. Now that should have given us enough time for it to start working and make our treatment more effective. Um, they also said that he was doing quite well and was very keen to get out of bed. Um, so now I'd like to go in there and do the subjective examination. Yeah, good. Mr. Jacobs? Yes. How are you doing, mate? Uh, my name's Russell. I'm a physiotherapy student here. Yeah, hi, Russell. Yeah, please call me Tom. Tom. Well, Tom, how are you doing today? Yeah, not, not bad, thanks, Russell. A little bit sort of drowsy from the anaesthetic, I think, but... Yeah, the knee seems to be all right, which is good. That's good. All things considered, can't complain after a surgery. So, mm. how is the knee? Oh, yeah, look, it's, it, it's all right. It seems mm. to be all right, yeah. Okay. Um, any pain? The nurse has been looking after you? Yeah, look, they, they have been. Yeah, they've been giving me regular uh, medication for the pain, which is good. I think I had something about 30 minutes ago, which is good. Excellent. But, uh, seems to have the, uh, the pain under control. Okay, so you said the pain's under control. Um, mm. Does that mean you're not experiencing any pain now? No, I'm experiencing some at the moment, Russell, well, yeah. Okay. Well, Tom, if I could give you a scale from 0 to 10, 0 mm. being no pain and 10 mm. being the worst pain that you can imagine, um, what would you say the pain is at, at the moment? Oh, look, 3. 3 on that sort of scale. So just a 3? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Have you tried to move it around much? Oh, I did try to move it there a, a little while ago, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, that, that shot the pain up a bit. Okay. But then I've had the pain medication since then, but uh, I haven't tried to move it again. Okay. And what was the pain like when you moved it? Oh, back, back to that, oh, that, that scale, zero to Russell. Ten, yeah. It, yeah, it would have gone up to about seven. It At hurt seven. quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, Tom, I know the pain's around your knee, it having been replaced and all. Mm. But um, can you just describe to me where the pain is? Yeah, right behind mm. the knee, sort of, and a bit below it, heading okay. down towards the calf area. So, so it does head down towards the calf? Mm. And is there any pain around the side or on the top of the knee? No. What about emanating up into the, the thigh? No. No? Perfect. Thanks for that. Okay. Now, have you had any uh, nausea or lightheadedness or any sort of trouble like that? Any trouble breathing? 
No, not at all, Russell. Not at all? Okay, that's good. As I say, just a little bit drowsy, but a bit drowsy? I guess that's the after effects of the anaesthetic. So. Mm. Now, um, it says here, Tom, that you only used to be able to walk 200 metres prior to coming in today. Um, what do you think that was? Oh, look, that was because of the, uh, the knee, Russell. I mean, 200 metres, that was about the extent that uh, I could walk before the, the pain became so severe I just had to stop. So. Mm. Okay. I guess that's why I needed the knee replacement. Probably. <laughs> now, um, at the moment, uh, can you feel your leg? Is your leg fine? Do you have any numbness or pins and needles? No, not at the moment. There was some numbness last night. Okay. Yeah. But uh, I haven't noticed it this morning. It seemed to be in the whole leg. Okay. Well, we'll have a look at curiously. it. Curiously. Mm. That probably was the uh, just the nerve block from the anaesthetic. It can, right. uh, can do that to the muscles and such. They can get a bit stiff afterwards. So it's not permanent, is it? No, 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 no. It's not permanent. It, it's temporary. We'll make sure that it's not the case. And Good. We'll be, Good. You'll be fine. Okay. Now, Tom, um, just want to confirm uh, that you live on a farm. It says here a farm yeah. out in Canongra. Yeah, we do, Russell. Yeah. That must be nice. Oh, it's a lovely location. Yeah. Good. Uh, now it also says here you have six stairs in the back and the front, and you live with your wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And uh, aside from everything, how much do you do around the farm? Uh, look, it's, it's, it's really hands-on for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got a couple of guys that come in and help me during the week, but okay. uh, yeah, I mean, most of the work uh, Pat and I do, uh, do ourselves. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, well, we'll keep that in mind and try and make sure that we can get this knee sorted so yeah. you can get back there. Yeah, well, I hope so. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about uh, you know, how the property's going to go if uh, I'm incapacitated. Mm, and I understand that, but... Uh, we're just a little concerned about sending you out too early. We just need to make sure your knee gets enough time to recover. Yeah. yeah the last thing we want is for it to start swelling and, no, and take you out of action for even longer. I don't want that. Okay. Um, now, I notice it says here that uh, you have been talked to about strategies to deal with this, such as walking aids and such. Yes. Yeah? Um, yeah. What, are you, what have you been thinking about walking aids? Oh, look, they did discuss that with me, and uh, we, we spoke about crutches, crutches, and they seemed to think that that was quite feasible, and they yeah. measured me up for crutches. So. Excellent. I'm hoping that uh, when I get out that I can get out on the crutches, which will yeah. make life a bit easier. Oh, especially with those stairs, it'll make it a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so have you got any of that equipment yet? Have you been down yeah, and sorted yeah, that out? Yeah, you have? Yeah, they've organised all that. Excellent. Yeah. Alright, good job, Tom. Um, now what about your discharge guidelines? Have you had a look at those? Yeah, look, I, I've had a good uh, good reason, read of those. Yep. I was reading them this morning, actually, before I sort of drifted off. and. Uh, Pat's had a good uh, look at them as yep. well, so yeah, she'll Excellent. keep me on the ball as far as they're concerned. Good, good. Well, um, what we'll do, we'll go through a bit of an assessment in, in, on your knee and just make sure that it's all mm -hmm. right, and then we'll go over those discharge guidelines at the end just to make sure that everything's all right. Yeah, sounds good, Russell. So yeah. you're happy to continue with the assessment? Yeah, most certainly, yeah. All right. All right, Tom, how about we have a look at that knee? Yeah, sure, Russell. Well, all means, yeah, it's feeling quite good, actually. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm pleased with it, seeing that it uh, was only operated on yesterday, so <laughs> yeah, it's good. feeling good. Mm. Uh, Tom, I'm just going to grab your gown now and just move this down yeah, as I'm moving sure, down the yeah, blanket. A, yeah, it sort of rides up with the catheter and all. <laughs> These things happen, mate. All right, just get, get your feet yeah. out there. Mm. Perfect. Okay, so I'll just move that up there so we can have a look. Excellent. Okay, well, there doesn't seem to be too much redness and swelling. Uh, no. How's it feeling? Yeah, it feels quite good. It's yeah. good? Mm. Okay. Well, now, Tom, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feel around the outside of it to see if I can feel for any warmth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does feel a little bit warm. I guess that's normal, isn't it? Yeah, it's to be expected. Have you been icing it regularly? Had some ice on it about an hour ago. About an hour ago? Not since then. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to the nurses and make sure that you have a steady supply of ice coming in. Mm -hmm. um, my recommendation would be for 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off, and right. that'll help to reduce the swelling. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Now, you mentioned yesterday that you were having some pain. Um, yes. Is that still yeah. going on? Can you yeah, describe? It is, yes. It's, uh, it's in behind the knee there. Okay. In the, behind the joint and just a little bit above it. A little bit above it? Yeah. Okay, so it sounds no, like your hamstring. Hamstring? Mm. Yes. Well, before you came in, your knee was bent and your leg was bent. Now, what yeah. that's done mm. is it's caused the hamstring muscle to tighten. Okay. Yeah. So what we need to do now is we need to, you know, allow that muscle to stretch out again so that we can get your leg straight. All right. Is, is, can we put a pillow under it? Would that help the... Well, we can and it will help with the pain temporarily, mm. but it's going to impede the muscle stretching out. Right. So if you need it, then yes, feel free to put the pillow under it for, you know, mm. like a short time frame. But ideally, we need to keep that muscle stretching so that we can get your movement back. All right. Okay? Yeah. 
All right, so for now, we're just going to do a couple of uh, exercises just to see how it's working. Yeah, yeah, sure, Ross. Okay, so for now, can you please uh, just move your feet in a circle? All right, good job, Tom. Now, wiggle your toes. Excellent. No discomfort with that. That's good. Okay, so I'm just going to come around to the other side. Okay, so Tom, just so I can give you an idea of what it feels like on this leg, so you know mm -hmm. what normal feels like. Yeah, good. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hold my hand above your knee, mm -hmm. and I just need you to push down on the bed. What that is going to do is it's going to activate the muscle above the knee. Right. So you'll have an idea of how that should feel. Just like that? Just like that. That's perfect. Okay, easy. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to go around back to the other side, onto right. the uh, other knee. Okay, so same thing. Yeah, there's definitely some tightness there, but yeah. Bit of tightness. I can do that. You can do that? Mm. Okay, well that's good. Alright, one last exercise. I need you to squeeze your buttocks together. Squeeze my buttocks? Ah, uh, yes, I need you to squeeze your buttocks together. It's okay, it's just for the muscles. Perfect. Alright, you can stop that. Good. That was fine? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, now Tom. All these exercises that we've just gone through, mm -hmm. if I could ask that you could complete those probably 10 times per hour in your bed, yeah. um, that's just wiggling your toes and yeah. moving your feet and Ooh. pushing that knee down and squeezing, squeezing your buttocks. buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> um, it seems silly, but what that will help to do is to help facilitate the muscle recovery and increase your circulation, yeah, which will sure help with awesome. recovery in the long term. Okay, yeah, I'll do those. Excellent, good to hear. Okay, so Tom, just like to try some leg raises. Okay. Yeah, sure, Russell. Now what I'd like you to do is just to keep this knee straight, mm -hmm. and then just lifting from here. Try and keep that leg straight. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that? Yeah, easy. Easy. Uh, well, let's see about this side. Now, <laughs> just be aware, you may not be able to do this. A lot of patients can't no. do this day one after surgery, but I'd just like to check. If there is any discomfort, mm -hmm. just let me know and just stop straight away. We'll give it so a shot. Keep the knee straight, lifting from here. No? No, I can't. Okay, no, that's I can't, fine, Russell. That's fine. Mm. Uh, what I'd like to do now, Tom, is just to move on to a sensation test. Right. Okay, just to test the nerves around your leg. Yeah, okay? sure. Yeah. So first of all, I'm just going to I'll just lift your arm up here. Mm. It's going to give you a base reading. So this is what that feels like. Yeah. Cool. Got and before it. we move on, I'm just going to take your socks off because we are going to need to check down your leg all and right. test the bottom yeah. of your feet. So just lift up there just to help that. Mm. Side as well. These things are a bit of a pain. <laughs> yes, they are. Uh, worse to get off than they are to get on. Uh, better to have them than not, believe me. Okay. So, with that base, is that normal? Just get it up again. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just going to start on your right leg. Want me to close my eyes? <laughs> that's fine. Alright, I can feel that. You can feel that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now continuing with that. If that's normal, yes. how is it on this side? Same. Same? Mm hmm. Okay. Normal? Yes. And. Yeah, it feels the same, Russell. Feels the same there? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. If that's normal, how's that? Same. Nice work. And that one. To that one. Yeah. Right, thanks, Tom. We'll just do the top of your feet here. There. Mm hmm. This one? Yes, yeah, same on both feet. Good. Just do a quick one just between your toes there. Sensation's the same. Excellent. Yeah. All right, now we're just going to go under the feet. Hope it doesn't tickle. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. Yeah. That's same good. on both feet, Russell. All right, excellent. Okay, so Tom, we've just done your sensation test. Um, just wondering, have you done any knee bends yet? No, I haven't, Russell. I've been a little bit reluctant to even try it, actually. Oh, am, that's I, am I allowed to do that? You are, it's understandable that you'd be a little kind of a... Uh, Kind of nervous about doing it. Tell yeah, you what, how about sure. we go through it together? Yeah, okay. That'll be that'll be good, right? Yeah. Mm. So, what's made you so nervous about this? Well, I just just the, you know the fact of the surgery and uh, as I say, just a little bit a little bit uh, anxious about it. It's understandable, but mm. it is one thing that we need to do to help facilitate your joint movement. So. We'll just go slow to start because yeah. this might be a bit uncomfortable. All right, what do you, you want me to do, Russ? So you just try and bend the, the knee. Just try and bend the knee. I'm going to help you do it. Okay, we're getting a bit of resistance yeah, there. Yeah, starting to tighten up a bit there. Mm. Okay, we're just going to go a little bit further. You just let me know as soon as you need yeah. to stop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, tolerable. Mm. It's tolerable? Mm. Okay, do you want to go any further or leave it there for now? Right, we'll leave it there just for a moment. Sure thing. Okay, you can just hold it there. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you Tom. 
Right. We're sitting at about 60 degrees at the moment. Okay. So we'll just drop the knee down. Mm -hmm. Okay. How are you feeling after that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What I'd like to do now is to go through that another 10 times. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're just going to take it slow. We're not going to go any further than we need to. Right. But that motion will help your recovery. All right. All right. Go through it again. You're good? Yeah, for sure. Okay. So, moving forward. For one. Mm. Yeah, about that point I start to that. feel the, the knee tighten up. Yeah. Okay, well, that's all right. Let's so drop it down. Okay, so we've got for number two. So how's the farm going? Yeah, it's going well. I don't think I've got a bit further that time. Yeah, we have, yeah. Yeah, it's a good farm. We're getting close to retirement now. But, uh, yeah, the kids have all grown up and disappeared and got their own family, so <laughs> not quite sure what we'll do in the future. Okay, again. Number nine. Mm -hmm. There we go, number nine. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that time. even better. Yeah. Right. I don't think I can go past that point, though. That's pretty tight. That's all right. We'll drop it down one more. Yep. Okay, last one. All right. And... There we go. Oh, that's, that's progress, Russell. Okay, can you hold that there? Yeah, I can. All right, let's mm. see just how much progress, Tom. Yeah. Huh. 30 degree increase. Excellent. That's Excellent. very good. Gone from 60 yeah. to 90. That's pleasing. Mm. Gosh. So, if I could just ask that you do that only a little bit, but do it often. Don't try and mm -hmm. push yourself up to the 90 unless you can. Mm -hmm. Just keep that knee bending and moving, and that'll really, really help. All right, Russell, yeah. Okay, Tom, thanks for that. Now we're going to move on to some of those walking exercises. Walking? Mm-hmm. You sure it's not premature to be walking? I only had the surgery yesterday, Russell. Well, it's not premature. In fact, it's openly encouraged. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. evidence suggests that our early mobility will help with outcomes, so... I knew it was coming. I'm a little bit apprehensive about it, though, I must be honest. Yeah, no, that's understandable. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll leave. I'm going to go grab my educator, Mark. We'll mm -hmm. come back. There'll be the two of us. We'll bring a walking frame. You'll have both of us assisting you. Sounds good. We'll make it as comfortable for you as we can. Sounds good, Russell. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay. What have you got there, Russell? The wonders of modern technology. Now, this is Mark. He's my educator. You may have met Hi, him. Hi, Mr. Before. Jacobs. How, How are you? Mark? Yeah, yeah, doing all right. Thanks, Mark. I'm one of the physiotherapists here. I'm just going to be helping Russell out today. Oh, excellent. Okay. Excellent. Um, now, to start with, uh, we've already done our strength and sensation checks. Excellent, and everything was fine there? Everything was fine okay, there, yeah. Um, what I'll get you to do is I'll get you to grab me the oh, catheter yeah. there. Yeah. And we're going to, I'm just going to ask you to stand behind Mr. Jacobs. Yep. Uh, Tom? Yep. Mark, Mark, Tom? Yep. Mm -hmm. Get you to stand behind Tom and just support his weight while I support his leg and we bring him across. Okay, no problems. Cool. Okay, so, so guide me here, Russell. What do you want me to do? Well, Mark's going to support your back. Yeah. I'm going to support your leg. We'll just get you to kind of shift over to the side of the bed. Right. And then we're going to assist you to turn around and we'll lower your leg to the ground. All right. Here he goes. There we go. Okay, take it slow. Just, just swivel them around up in here. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, you're doing all right. Excellent. Okay. Oh, okay. So we're yeah. going to start lowering yeah. the leg. All right. How's that? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good, Russell. Perfect. Oh, a little bit of tenderness there, but mm -hmm. yeah, overall. So you're comfortable good. there? Your feet are on the ground? Yeah, I am. Thanks, Mark. Mm. Tom, how about we go for a walk? Yeah, all right, Russell. Yeah. Yeah, Excellent. So far, so good. So far, so good? Yeah. All right, yeah. Mark, um, is it okay if you come around over to this yeah. side? Yeah, I can be on this side. Yeah, that's um, good. I, I so might need a bit of support, I think, initially. Yeah, mm. well, that's what we're here for, Tom. Good. So Mark and I are going to support your weight as we move you up onto the frame. Yeah. What I'm going to get you to do is push down with your hands, mm -hmm. then I'm going to get you to move your arms up here and hold onto these handles. Can okay. You, yep. Yep. We'll support right. your weight going up. Here we go. Ready and oh, good job. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So Tom, just before we get going, how are you feeling? Any lightheaded, nauseous? Or yeah, just a little bit woozy when I first got up, but it, it's cleared now. That's, thanks, Russell. That's yeah. Now. Okay. Mm. Um, what I'd like you to do is, if it starts to change, yes. just immediately let me know. We'll do. Um, for mm -hmm. now, we're just going to go for a short walk, okay. and then if you're feeling better, we'll come back to the chair. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready? So one step forward. 